Now, Howard, right? Howard Fisher. You what's, what's the full name? Oh, Howard, you just said Howard you Fisher. Said, yeah. Howard Fisher. You just yeah. said so. Um, Howard, interesting question is, why did you get a legacy CNC over all the different options that are out there in the in the marketplace right now? Well, I, I looked at a lot of the options, Chris, um, and I have bought a lot of things from China, and I've traveled to China and, and seen a lot of the equipment over wow. there. Wow. But... What intrigued me was this was made in Utah, not just made in America, but made in Utah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted to support something that was local and uh, have gotcha. service be local where I could just jump in the car, come over and see you, or call on the phone, have something shipped to me really quick. Yeah. And it's been amazing. And I think one of the biggest things that sold me on legacies, besides how awesome the equipment is, is uh, the support with Mosiah. That guy's amazing. Technical support. Yeah. I've never asked him a question that he hasn't been able to answer immediately. Mm -hmm. And um, he's been extremely helpful. He gets things in the mail. He gets things sent out. He even come, uh, had a lightning strike take out my PC. Oh, wow. I, I bought it. He told me where to go buy a new PC. I bought it. And then he went online and just handled the uh, installation of all the software. Remotely, gotcha. it was it was amazing. Really, a good experience. So, it's not just the equipment, but the the uh, backup with the knowledge of uh, online support and, and technical support that you guys provide. Because because things wear out, and you yeah. know, I'm not I'm not really confident on how to fix a lot of things. But I am confident when I got Mosai on the phone. He's amazing. So that's great to hear. Yeah. We'll pass that yeah. on to him. Yeah, make he, him feel yeah don't don't all appreciate it. He's your secret <laughs> weapon. Don't ever get rid of him. But don't tell him that. Not a problem. <laughs> um, what is some of the top solutions that you found the machine is solving for you in your in your workshop or projects that you've been able to try? I, you know, I'd like to say that I, I, I'm still full time employed, so I, I don't do a lot with it. It's and I never view it as a, a financial mm -hmm. resource for me. I, I just enjoy work, working in the wood shop. I. Uh, my last woodshop class was in seventh grade, and I don't know that I even got a passing grade. I didn't really enjoy it. Well, I'm guilty. I never took woodshop. There you go. So I'm a little ahead of you. <laughs> I, and I, I don't know that I really enjoyed the class either. You know, we had a teacher, and he was missing a couple of fingers, and I was afraid I was going to be that guy. Mm -hmm. And so I, I kind of approach woodworking from a timid point of view. I was intrigued with the turning center, mm -hmm. and I think I've owned my Maverick 3x5 for five, six, seven years now. Mm -hmm. And only in the last six months, I ventured into turning on the turning center. Gotcha. I, you know, and I, I was just really nervous about that. It was mm -hmm. something I was uncomfortable doing. But when I turned it on, I was amazed how simple it was. Yeah. You guys had some online uh, videos which were extremely supportive. And uh, I, I jumped in, asked Mosiah a couple of questions. And Within a week, I had made a uh, four and a half foot tall tapered column with 12 flutes in it. <laughs> and, and I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't have any project I was going to use with it. I painted it blue and mounted a bird feeder on it, put it in the front yard. Oh, and awesome. it looks phenomenal. It's like the world's <laughs> best bird feeder. It's completely ridiculous, but it's beautiful. You can see how that could be uh, you know, an, an important for a furniture and things like that. Yeah, It just exceeds my skill level, but... Uh, but it's when nice I, to have that ability oh, when you want it. Oh, yeah, it is. And, and I've yeah. shown that to people, and they're like, oh, wait, I have a lathe, and I have no idea how to do that. So Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. The taper, I think you could do on the lathe moderately, easily, but the, the flutes, that's that's tough. Yeah. Any form of indexing, correct. Yeah, kind of that is really tough. Takes it to the next level. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's all perfect. You know, 12 degrees or 12 flutes, 15 flutes, whatever you want. It just does it perfectly. So Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great machine. I, another thing that impressed me with the Maverick equipment is uh, just its durability. It's built like a Sherman tank. It really is. <laughs> I mean, when they delivered that thing, set it down on the concrete, it just went boom. <laughs> and it never moved. <laughs> it is really well built. So, uh, nobody skimped. It's not got some kind of an aluminum extruded frame on it. It's just solid steel and it's heavy. It's got a way. What's it? Maverick weight. A three by five, I think it's over nine hundred pounds. Yeah, it's going to say a thousand, fifteen hundred pounds. Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be approaching. It's very pounds. heavy. So, yeah, which is nice because you're you're doing something. You don't want to see the table rock. You don't want to see it move. So. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you're here because of the workshop that's yes. been put in place, the rocking chairs. Yes. And how have you enjoyed that experience oh, wow. so far? It's incredible. There's so much talent here. Uh, John has been showing us. Uh, 
the uh, how, what he's how he's designed it in Aspire, and then uh, we've gone out into the shop. Everybody's uh, gone into two man teams, mm -hmm. and we've worked. Everybody's built um, with jigs their own rocking chair, and my ability to do that on my own was probably impossible. I I, I could have never done that. I could That's do right. little things, but something like that I, I wanted to and I aspired to it, but. Um, I couldn't do it, but this class really gave me a lot of confidence. That's great. To the point where I got the jig, and you know, my wife's gonna look at that chair and go, "Yeah, I want eight of them." So, <laughs> well, you'll have the files. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, whether I'm in the business or not, I'm in the business. So. <laughs> I already sent pictures to my kids, and they're all like, "Oh, that's amazing! Christmas is coming up. Don't forget us." So, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. I couldn't, I couldn't be happier. So, I hope you do more classes. Absolutely. And I want to be on the, every one of those classes. I wouldn't hesitate, <laughs> oh, we'll chime so. in. Yeah. Yeah, good. Well, Howard, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Thanks for taking Chris. some time. No, you're, it's been you're awesome. You're awesome. You're